Are you tired of feeling like your pain doesn't matter? Or perhaps you've had the thought that your trauma isn't bad enough, then you're in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to cover why we downplay our trauma and also reveal strategies moving forward for the path from healing from it. I'll be sharing insights from a renowned trauma therapist and author, Babette Rothschild. So stick around and let's break down the barriers that are holding you back from support. So trauma can take many different forms and no two people experience it in exactly the same way. But there are commonalities between survivors who tend to downplay their trauma as if their experiences aren't bad enough or warrant help or understanding. Now, Babette Rothschild uh, suggests that this mindset might be a coping mechanism to help us protect ourselves from the pain and vulnerability of confronting that trauma. I'm here to explain more about this so that you can have more understanding and also more compassion for yourself so that if you struggle with this, there's some tips on how to move forward. So Babette Rothschild explains that there are several reasons why survivors might downplay their trauma. The first one is denial, that in order to cope with the pain, we may have to deny the severity of the experience to avoid overwhelm, shame or any other amount of pain or feelings that that might bring up. The other is also the fear of judgment. We might be worried about being misunderstood, judged or invalidated by or about our experiences. And I know that many of you, when you first reach out, you've unfortunately already been in an experience where you feel like you've been invalidated or shamed or blamed for what happened. So it's really understandable that downplaying it to avoid that occurrence would make a lot of sense as a protection mechanism. Another one is guilt or shame. We might feel worry about being made to feel guilty or shameful about what happened to us. So we're more likely to keep it a secret and to downplay what happened. Another element is comparison. A lot of survivors might feel their pain isn't significant enough when they're comparing it to what someone else went through, which is misinformed anyway, but there is a tendency for survivors to do. So these are a couple of ways that downplaying trauma might actually be a form of defence and the purposes that that might serve in the light of trauma, which makes a lot of sense. So the first step to moving toward healing would be acknowledging that it is a defence mechanism and it's not a reflection of your worthiness or the validity of when what happened to you. So here are some strategies I would suggest to move forward with this. Healing in this context in the very beginning starts with validating your experience. Acknowledge that the trauma you went through was real, it was significant and it did have an impact on your life and it's okay to acknowledge that impact. If you struggle with that, reach out for professional help and they can help you. And that actually is the next point on whether it's for that or just healing in general from the trauma. Seek professional help, connect with a therapist who specialises in trauma and they can provide you with immense support and guidance to make that process easier and most importantly, not painful. Develop a support network, share your story with trusted family or friends, or if you don't feel like you have people in your life that, that fall under that category, join a local support group. There are thousands of people in your local area who understand what you've went through and be there to help empathise, understand and connect with during your healing journey. Last but not least, practice self-compassion. Remind yourself that you deserve care. You deserve understanding and you deserve to heal and move beyond this. By acknowledging the reality of your experiences and seeking help, you can begin the journey towards recovery. I hope the insights in this video have been helpful for you, hopefully explaining why you may have been downplaying your trauma for so long as a way to defend yourself from various sources of pain. If you liked today's video, it helped you understand something or you resonated with it, hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.